Hello and welcome to another Albion Online Dev Talk. Albion's latest content update, Lands Awakened, will release in just a few days from now on November 24th. And today it's time to look at some of its most anticipated features. The new War Gloves weapon line and elite levels. We've long wanted to expand the arsenal of Albion Online with new weapon lines. And with the Lands Awakened update, we've finally taken the first step and added one entirely new line with three new base weapons and four new artifact weapons to the Warrior's Weapons tree. These offer an all new brawler combat style and will shake up the meta, offering new opportunities for PvE, PvP and crafting players alike. And they look very cool while doing so. To tell you all about them, I've invited our combat designer Michael Schwan to introduce each weapon and its abilities in detail. Wargloves are our brand new brawler weapon line. They are designed to have good tools to get up close to your enemies and pull off cool combos. With their swift movement options, they can easily stick to their target and overall their kit has a lot of versatility because we want to give players interesting decisions and outplay possibilities. A weapon that is easy to learn but hard to master. The first new thing is that they have one more Q-slot ability than other weapons, which allows for a wide range of different builds and flexibility in different situations. So let's talk about some of these abilities. Triple Kick is a W ability where you fly towards your target location, doing three kicks in the air and you can aim it close to your character to do all three kicks in close proximity, useful if you want to damage multiple mobs, or you can jump the full distance for the extra mobility. The triple kick will also drag up to one player along with you, which can be used to interrupt abilities or isolate a single target. Blazing Geyser is the E ability of the Battle Bracers. This ability unleashes an explosion in front of you, which deals damage and knocks enemies into the air. The unique twist is, if you hit at least one enemy, it also resets your Q-slot cooldown. This makes it great for chaining together combos, especially with Q abilities like Dragon Leap, which can be activated twice before it goes on cooldown. So you can use Dragon Leap twice, then Blazing Geyser, then Dragon Leap twice again. Additionally, you can mix in your W or armor abilities in between and then you have something ready for your next montage video. But beware that not everything is a true combo and the enemy can interrupt you between certain hits if they have a defensive ability like force field ready. The Fists of Avalon also have an interesting E ability called Purifying Combination. It is a three-part combo. The first activation is a roundhouse kick that knocks enemies away. The second is a jump with a dive kick, knocking enemies into the air. And the last is a purifying fist, which finishes the combo off with massive damage. Of course, in between each attack, you can also combine any other ability. There are many more new abilities which can be used in combos like this, like cross step and aggressive burst, which can turn you into a scary auto attack machine, or infernal boulder, which can be followed up by triple kick to make all three hits of the boulder land on one enemy as a true combo. I wish you lots of fun exploring all the different abilities and trying out various combo possibilities for yourself. And I hope you enjoy the smooth gameplay experience that we could achieve thanks to the amazing job our art and sound teams did. All the new animations, visual effects and sounds feel very satisfying to use and make you feel like the main character of a martial arts movie or a fighting game. And as a big fan of fighting games myself, I had a great time working on them and hope we can bring you many enjoyable moments with this new web line. As a team, we have grown a lot while making the Wargroves and we plan to apply what we learned to improve many of the older weapon lines and abilities in future updates. The War Gloves really offer an interesting range of new abilities and fighting styles to include in your character builds. And we can't wait to deliver some punches once the Lands Awakened update releases. Completing the Destiny Board specializations for War Gloves will be a great goal to pursue. But what about players not keen on becoming martial arts specialists? Well, 
We're already working on the next weapon lines for Hunter and Mage, which will be released over the course of future updates. In the meantime, players that have not yet reached the maximum specializations in their weapon lines can take advantage of the valuable new PvE and significantly boosted fame rewards in the Lands Awakened update to catch up. As a fame objective for veteran players, however, we're also extending the Destiny board with Elite Levels, allowing you to reach level 120 in your combat specializations. To unlock an Elite Level, players will need to spend Fame Credits, which they will continue to earn when playing with items at specialization level 100 or above. The Elite Levels increase the maximum specialization bonuses players can achieve by 60 points of item power. But at the same time, the significantly increased fame output throughout the game allows players to catch up by completing their regular specializations more easily. Since attaining Elite Levels is highly prestigious, we've made sure others can see how well you've mastered a particular item. When equipping an item in which you have any significant degree of specialization, a small badge will appear in the upper right corner of the item icon, indicating the wearer's qualifications. This is of course visible to others in the inspect screen and in the kill history as well, allowing you to show how far you've pushed your skills in the item. We can't wait to get started trying our new ideas for Warglove builds and earning Elite Levels for our favorite character builds. Make sure you join on November 24th when the Lands Awaken update releases. And come back for another Dev Talk after the launch where we'll introduce the new usability improvements coming to loadouts as well as farming and party invites. Stay tuned and see you in Albion Online.